Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're doing well. Today, we're gonna go back in time 14 plus years to revisit my Hack This Site series that I made back in 2008 and talk about maybe new strategies or approaches to some of these missions. Let's check it out. I got the playlist of all the videos, so let's just start with basic one tutorial. Here we're doing basic mission one. I can't even read the text. HTML. It's like 240p or something. Literally 240p. This level is what we call the idiot test. If you can't complete it, don't give up learning all you can, but don't go begging to someone else for the answer. So, HTML. That's not a bad test, actually. Just start by filling in the elements on a form and then hitting submit with your dev tools open and looking at the network request. You can gather a lot of information to see where you're posting to, uh, where you're sending requests to. to look at the way an a web application is built. Is hypertext markup language is probably the most vulner vulnerable if you're making login sessions and login scripts with it because it can be tampered with the most. Compared to what? HTML is probably the most vulnerable if you're making login sessions with it, I think I meant well, obviously. Uh, I like to correct the record on that. It is true that web application vulnerabilities are a very common attack vector. Um, I don't know if HTML interacting with web sessions has anything to do with anything, but uh, I meant well, let's continue. ...with it and save it and upload it to my own site and make it look exactly like this. If I had the right cascading style sheet files and all of that. But the difference with H2... Okay, that's true. So, uh, to the point I guess I was making however long ago. Yes, I, I guess compared to other applications, HTML is the easiest to tamper with. In the sense, like, if you have... A compiled application or piece of software that you're running uh, that's more difficult to tamper with you can reverse engineer it yeah HTML you could just go anywhere and grab the page source clone it and you know throw up your own page uh, you know that's how phishing attacks work the PHP source anyways uh... yeah that's true so okay in in that sense like you can see a lot of information just by looking at the source code with HTML and JavaScript, right? When you have code behind or, uh, you know, code that's running on the server, you don't have readily available access on the client to be able to see what's running on the server. So, yeah, that's accurate. The first few levels are extremely easy. Password is, and here's the password. Okay, so I do want to say, like, yeah, basic mission one, it might seem inaccurate, uh, but the point I think with basic mission one is to gather information and to look around the web application or wherever you're exploring. And you might actually be surprised, uh, since the 15 years that I made this video, I've actually seen secrets in HTML source code. So although it's not common, definitely happens and there's definitely information you can find just by looking at the page. The mindset of let's, you know, look at our web application in its entirety, starting with the page source, seeing what secrets we can identify or even, uh, you know, what version of JavaScript libraries they're running or even just gather information like, hey, you know, we can tell this is a WordPress website just by looking at the page source. So let's see what version of WordPress they're running. Let's see what plugins they're running. Oh, do they have any vulnerable plugins? Ah, that one's vulnerable to SQL injections. Stuff like that. 